Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this session, I'm going to discuss about various report item properties and one of the trick on how to sort a table data in Power BI page generated reports or report builder. When you started working on report builder and you need to understand certain properties so that you can design your reports very easily and effectively. That's what we are going to see as part of this video. So what things you can expect like basic properties, font, color size, background alignment and hide or unhide, then sorting of table, then repeat headers of a table. So those things I'm going to cover. There are a lot of other properties you can explore it. But once I showcast all these uh, properties, you will understand uh, how you can explore other properties as well. That is the main agenda of this video. This channel contains a free content with thousand dollars or seventy five thousand INR. Please utilize this contents. You can see the topics, whatever I have covered as part of this channel. With this note, let's begin our today's topic. So we are in this report. So first, as in the beginning, I have said each item has its own properties. This is the body. When you click on it, you can see the body here. When you click on here, this is the page header and click on here page footer. And when you click on here, you see individual items. This is the text box properties. And when you click on entire thing at the top right corner, it will be a table. So each and every item has its own properties. So what are the common pro properties of a text box? We already seen in our previous video for a header and footer, we have a limited properties, whether you can add a border fill and um, whether you can print on first page or last page. That's it. When it comes to a text box or something with text, you have a lot of other properties like you can um, use the background color for this. I hope um, little gray if i add that will be much better and for the font you can also have some dark colors here so that it will look a uh, little neat then what is the um, uh, i mean to say like can grow or can shrink those properties are something if it is uh, uh, dynamic then this will be uh, very useful whether it can grow or uh, not shrink and also there is something like a tooltip uh, when someone mouse over something needs to be highlighted you can add uh, those things over here and this tooltip is basically you can add some expressions so these are some of the uh, basic properties uh, when it comes to text box uh, whatever text box you see here same applicables to uh, individual box in a table as well and this is like we have added a rectangle if you have seen my previous video basically what it is is like we have a rectangle and we have included two items one is text box another is line these two items we added inside this uh, rectangle now let us try to view this report I am going to show one of the property here as on date over here based on certain condition uh, you have added some values assuming you have created this report based on some customer or products and if particular customer chooses this item should not be shown right so like that you have to write some logics uh, there are a lot of items five to six items you need to hide that is the condition so instead of setting those properties one by one right if you choose one particular customer that customer should not show these five items instead of um, assigning properties of hide based on this customer for each and individual item you group all the individual items into here in this case we have added text box and line into this rectangle okay we add a rectangle here then added two text box and line inside here now i'm going to say like hide this property I'm setting at the rectangle box level. Okay. Once I said that, you can see here the entire thing is display is gone. So this is very simple uh, way when you group certain items, when you set some properties over here, that will be applied to underneath or when whatever grouped inside, right? So this is the main purpose, one of the property I want to highlight. So these are the things you can explore it. You are based on business scenarios. The next thing is um, 
all about um, ha having the uh, sorting properties like you can have a sorting based on different um, way like once you see here now this is basically sorted by alphabetical order how it is done earlier it is not done like that in order to do alphabetical order you can click on it uh, at the column level column header okay based on this okay when you click on it you can see tablex properties then you can see sorting okay the word sorting this is based on sorting i will say z to a this is fixed you cannot have anything whatever whether descending or ascending you need to fix it so people have don't have any ability to change this property at all okay now it is fixed now they do not have have a ability to uh, change whether ascending or descending so when you click at the top right and you see this sorting then this is fixed way okay you, there is no way people can avoid it but you should give a ability for the user in order to choose what order they need to sort okay for that click on this text box right click then text box properties interactive sorting you can see the word interactive sorting then enable interactive sorting on this text box then click on english product name okay sort by english product name when you click on okay then when you click on execute oh sorry uh, i did a mistake you should not click on this text box you should click on here um, this is obvious because um, when you are trying for something <coughs> it will always a problem okay so click on this header now click on this text box properties interactive sorting enable sorting then click on based on product name okay when you click on it here then click on run so you can see here now you have the ability to switch when you click on this it will be like alphabetical order when you click on this it will be like descending order right so that is how it will be assign dynamic sorting based on the interactive sorting we can say the name interactive sorting so this is how you can have some other properties over here instead of basic properties these are some of the tricky properties where you are clicking and assigning that's what i said each and everything has its own property you need to be very careful with that one last thing uh, i want to uh, so here is like someone asked me like um, how i need to repeat this header now i am in the page 1 when i go to the next page this header is not repeated right i mean that this table header the report header is repeated but the table header the whatever i see here it is not repeated how i can make it so these are some of the tricks it is uh, typically unless you know how you can do you can do it so click on this one i mean to the entire table x then go to here right advanced mode okay when you click on advanced mode then you can see what is happening here you will have a static and static static column groups once it appeared click on the row groups static then uh, here you have a property okay as i said each and everything has its own property repeat on new page that is the static this static value should repeat on new page by default it will be false you need to set it to true once you set it then you can click on run now you can see then the next page you will see the headers are started appearing for your table as well so the report designing is a little tricky it is not straight forward uh, however um, you develop in a typical power bi desktop so some of the properties until you practice or you uh, do some research you will not get how it can be done so i hope this video is has helpful to you if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset